Hey, what's up guys? This is Pat from PopularMMOs.com and I'm going to do a features video for Atlantica Online, the free fantasy MMORPG. And I'm going to show you some of the features in this game that you get to enjoy when you're a little higher level. I'm going to go over the PvP, some, I'm going to show you a dungeon, uh, I'm going to show you the tactical battle system, how to use the crafting in the game, and a few other things. But right now, first thing I'm going to show you is some player versus player. And you see right here it says Coliseum League. I have just signed up for this. It happens every couple hours that you can uh, sign up for. A, it's like a tournament style player versus player. And right now, I'm going to be against this person. And there's actually two different types. There is Coliseum League and Free League. And Free League, um, if you have better gear, that's a big advantage in Free League. But the nice thing about this game is you can choose um, Coliseum League also which gear doesn't matter so everyone's on an even playing field even if they're higher level even if they have um, better gear so it's not a big deal so, all right, so we're gonna get started I'm gonna show you a little bit of the basics of how um, battling in this game works so we're gonna get started in about 20 seconds or so does lag a little bit for some people. If you don't have a decent computer, then it's actually going to be, um, might be a problem. And I have the volume off right now because the battles can be quite loud and you can't actually set the battle volume down. But here's some of the things I wanted to show you. If you notice when I attack this guy, it said combo one over his head. And if you hit someone with a fi the same person with um, a physical attack, three attacks in a row, then it will actually um, it will stun them for a couple turns. See right now it says combo two, and you can switch um, you can switch what mercenary you want to use by hitting G. You see how there's a little number over everyone. They each have like a certain amount of points, and it spends a um, hundred of them when they attack. So you can't just keep attacking with the same uh, mercenary. This person actually is. I thought they were AFK at least. So. Um, let me just show you how this some magic works and some stunning. And here's actually a cool move called Freezing Axe, and it freezes a whole row. And here's an AOE move that will hit every single thing. So there's some interesting moves. And if I hit this guy, this will give it his third combo, and that will stun him. But I'm I'm gonna go show you guys uh, dungeon next because I can't show you the whole battle. There's just too much to um, show you guys. One thing that's nice about doing doing uh, player versus player, other than good experience and you actually get some money too, is um, you get a po you get points to use that you can actually use to do dungeons with, and these are um, dungeon keys. And this is 150 points. If you win, you get more points. If you lose, you still get some points. So it's pretty easy to um, be able to get the keys for the dungeons. And if you don't like doing dungeons, you can just sell them. They actually sell for a decent amount of money. And I'm gonna. All you have to do is open up your inventory, find it, and click on it, and then you can just teleport yourself there. So it's pretty easy to get started. And these um, dungeons are made from um, groups of three, but you can go into them solo. So all you have to do is enter it right over here. And one of the things, though, about dungeons that's a little bit different is you can't use all nine mercenaries. You actually end up using six. So let's go into our formation and try to get a better formation set up. And you have to uh, set who you don't want to participate. If you don't, it'll just um, give you the mercenaries that are the highest levels. So let's set something up that uh, looks pretty good. So I'm going to get rid of a couple of these guys. And we'll get started. I can't actually show you the whole dungeon, but I can give you a good look at it. So basically you have 60 minutes to um, kill all the monsters here, and you can check right here um, how many monsters you have left. You have 41 monsters left. And at the end of these dun these types of dungeons you get um, you get a reward, which will be a, either, it'll be a choice between like a certain weapon or a certain piece of armor generally. So um, it's worth doing this. It's going to be really good gear and really helpful. It's going to be better than the gear you could normally get for your level. And there's actually a few different types of dungeons in this game. This is just um, a plain regular dungeon. There's also guild dungeons, and those dungeons can only be done with your guild. 
and those ones are going to give you um, not equipment but uh, boxes that have some random stuff in it that's extremely valuable and then there's also nation dungeons one thing about this game and a lot of free to play uh, MMORPGs actually is that um, guilds can join a nation so a bunch of guilds are like grouped together and it's the same in this game and um, yeah you have to go with like everyone there there'll be tons of people in those dungeons I guess that if you were to consider um, a raid in this game that's what it would be considered but you could never actually have more than three people grouped with you but there'll be tons of groups of threes fighting so I'm actually gonna show you guys some crafting because I'm probably gonna die here anyway because I'm in here solo so I'll show you that now one thing I forgot to mention was there's actually another type of dungeon in the game it's a special dungeon it's called Gunzu World and it's basically a dungeon that you you can only do it a couple times a week. You actually have to do a daily quest um, every day to uh, be able to do it on the weekend. It's a you get to go in there for two hours, and it's just lots of good drops, um, lots of equipment boxes, and high-level crafting materials. So it's actually a really nice way to make money or to gear up your character. But all right, I'm going to show you guys um, the crafting in the game. So you go to skills and these are all the crafts and you can see these are the level I am at these and if they're in orange that means someone needs to level you up and yeah other people can lev level your skill up in this game which is kinda interesting if it needs to be leveled up um, and that gives them experience if they do it but it uses some of your will and will is something you use in this game to do a few different things um, teleporting uses will um, leveling up crafts uses will and there's um, a couple other things that aren't super important but yeah, Will's used, but it recharges real quick. It's not like something that's going to slow down your gameplay or anything. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to make something, I guess. It's probably a good idea. Um, so let's go with something that's easy for me to make. So we'll go with this Ring of Intelligence. And this is a good chance for me to show you how to use the market, too. So I need two Ash and Crystals, 22 Pearls, 20 Iron Sand, and 20 Coral. So we go to town. You have to be in town for this. Go to the market. And the market is pretty easy to use in this game. It's an auction house, basically. And all you have to do is hit buy, and then you type in what you need. So I need iron sand. And go to the list. <coughs> and people will be selling it at all different prices, usually. But if there's a fixed price, some things have a fixed price, there usually won't be many people selling. Or they'll just sell right below it, like this person is. So we'll get 20 of those. And buy. And you get them automatically right into your inventory, which is nice. You don't have to go to a mailbox or anything save you some time and pretty much anything in this game can be bought on the auction house even the stuff on the item wall people sell on the auction house except it's pretty expensive but if you save up money you can buy it alright so one thing that's different about crafting this game if I hit craft it doesn't just make it for me it says see now it goes up here and it says personal crafting of intelligence I need 3500 workload for it to be crafted so the things in this game that you need to craft that you craft you need to actually go fight some monsters which give you workload for it to go craft. So some things are huge crafts in this game and it may like make you a lot of money but it actually is going to take a lot of fighting. So the higher level you are the easier it is going to be to craft. So I'm actually going to go find some monsters and show you how to finish this off. Alright so I found some monsters to go fight and I found and I picked the easy craft so we could just get this done in one battle. So you could just, I still have my mercenary set like this but it shouldn't really be a problem. And one battle should um, get that done. And then after that, we're going to teleport to town. Um, and you can do that with a teleportation license, which is another item wall thing. Or you get some free ones. You can teleport to Rome, which is the main um, city in the game, where most people are, pretty much. And you can teleport to your guild's town. And yeah, your guild can have a town in this game, and they can decorate the town. However, not that I know how to do it exactly, because I'm not the guild leader. But yeah, I guess you could have some fun with that if you own a town. But it's pretty... I think it's a stressful job. I mean, you have to. There's always people bidding, trying to take your town and stuff. But yeah, if you see right here in the community list under guild, I can just go straight to the town. In this game, um, you can only have 50 people in your guild, so it, there's a limitation on that. But it looks like we're running out of time, so I'm actually going to cut this video into two parts. Don't forget to subscribe and check out popularmmos.com. And this craft should be done right now it's done so you just gotta hit um, hit this and it came out plus one 